All right, what I have here is a 2018 GMC Savannah van. This is a short chassis, three quarter ton example. Again, 2018, 35,331 on the odometer right now. It's a two wheel drive example. It is a conversion van by Explorer Van Company out of Warsaw, Indiana. This is a seven passenger high top example. This particular example has is decked out with a bunch of extras. It does have the power running boards, the XSC package from Explorer, which will have the enclosed running boards down here, the 20 inch wheels. It does have uh, BF Goodrich uh, Advantage TA tires on it. it. Does have the front fascia cover with the fog lamps and the step bumper you can see up there. Um, also, of course, the high top with the Vista Bay windows back here that you can see. That's all included in the X XSE package. What's additional or extra in this van, it does have a roof air conditioner you can see up here. It does have roof solar panels to charge a battery that's in back. Even if it's not plugged in, it'll be running off the, off the sun. <clears throat> in back, it does have a shore power hookup right there. So if you are camping, you can plug it in and use their power or run on the generator, which is underneath. So this van is really for boondocking or uh, primitive camping. You can do it as long as you have the fuel for the generator or a little bit of sunshine. You will have power to run the air and all that when the van's not running. Of course, when the van's running, you can have the availability to turn all the air conditioning on the front, normal General Motors air conditioning from the van itself when it's driving. Having said that, let's get started on it. Um, it's been raining, it's a little bit wet. Uh, the van is dirty on the inside. We have not had it detailed. It's, to, it's not bad, it's just a couple things you're going to see here and there, but I wanted to get this video out to you. Uh, again, an 18, 35,000 miles, high top 7 passenger Explorer conversion van with a Dometic air roof air conditioner, which runs on 110. It does have a generator underneath, as well as the solar panels, a solar charge station, and batteries. I'll show you all that in the back. So, uh, Great, great. If you're looking for this, the package that this van has, they, they do, like I said, they do are out there, but they're, uh, they're getting rarer and rarer for us. Uh, Damage-wise, I really don't see a lot. There's a, there are some things here and there on the van. It's actually in really good shape. I uh, don't see any body issues, really. A couple little nicks and, and, and dings here and there. Uh, nothing as far as a, uh, you know, any problems go. It just, it's just a nice, clean van overall. Wheels look good. I don't see any curb damage on them. The tires look like they have an excellent tread. Matter of fact, they still have the wear, the wear pins on them. Uh, wheels have not been damaged. I, I don't have any damage on the running boards or the body. You can see it's a very clean, clean example. It does have the power running boards, leather inside, the tan with the Burlwood dash. Dash is in great shape. There's your mileage. 35331. Overhead console, rear heat and air. Of course, it has your touch screen with navigation on the front, factory navigation. There's your 12 volt power, traction control, OnStar. You can turn the running boards on or off. You've got a 110 volt outlet in the front here. Also a five volt and a 12 volt. You can turn your running boards, electronic steps on and off. Of course it does have the center console with the cooler. Power seats, of course. All the normal conversion van stuff. There's your bumper or your step boards. A little bit of a looks like a scrape that's been touched up there. That's your exhaust pipe for your generator, and it has an extra uh, thing. The exhaust pipe you pin it here, runs up the side, and latches on to the roof here, so that you can run the air can run the generator at night without any risk of uh, carbon monoxide coming back into the vehicle. Does have the Continental kit because the spare tire was removed from underneath and put back here because the generator is underneath. Can't see it. Does have a hitch with a seven and a four pin connector. Does have your backup camera. Back here we have our, uh, of course, your bed and your storage area. But in here is the solar output. So the the sun charges this battery, which is a deep cycle, and then you have a power inverter, which is a sine wave inverter. So you can run all electronics, including sensitive electronics, on this unit. But you turn this on. And it'll output 120 volts here, and you can also then run the uh, the window unit air or sorry the roof air from this unit and this battery if it charges with the solar. So has a uh, switch here. You turn this equipment off when the van is not running, so it won't discharge the battery. Turn it to on so that this battery gets charged while the van is running, as well as the solar panels. Nice, nice setup. Nice and professionally done. Of course, you have shore power hookup too. Like I said, you can plug it in the side and that'll be live up here. But if you're running on the generator or the solar panels, you'll be live here with 110. So you can run through this, you can run the roof air conditioner, which you'll see the grate there. 
I'll get closer of it for you. And it does have the three-piece power sofa bed. The blinds are in great shape. So if you're going to come back and take a look at it, we will be getting a title within seven days. It's on route. So we have a good saleable van at this point. Clean title. There's your shore power in case you want to hook up at the, at the dock or camping. Just plug that in. This wheel looks good. Of course, you have running boards back here as well. There's your blinds. And it does have swivel seats. And being an 18, it does have the seat belts built into the seat, so you can say safe, safely seat belted in no matter what position you're in. The seats also quick release and come out, so you don't have to have them in here at all. This person had a floor mat in here to keep the carpet from getting worn. It looks like the carpet looks brand new underneath it. The rear sofa bed's in great shape. And there's your roof area with your storage, your Vista Bay windows. Of course, your flat screen for entertainment with your surround sound. And you do have a console with your game console hookup, Blu-ray player and all that like normal. Um, 35,000 miles on it. Price-wise, they're going to be right around the uh, 61 mark. But if this one's for you, it might be your opportunity. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks.